I wanted to ask you guys about your education, um, what high school was like, if you, um, well tell me, first Tony, what was high school like? I know you were in New York still. Yeah. Well, I, I went to Hastings High School uh -huh. from the elementary. It was um, a really good education. Um, it's public school, mm -hmm. uh, 100 in the graduating class, and, but That's right. the teachers were really good quality teachers. Um, and um, I really got a good education, and I'm very thankful. It's been written up since that um, Actually, the school, people actually pay to go. <laughs> they have space to go to that public school because they kept up that same tradition. And in fact, uh, one of my teachers was, I think, first year of teaching. We still stay in touch with him. And uh, Was that your favorite teacher? He wasn't my favorite teacher, it was, uh, but he's a unique teacher. <laughs> Ray, Ray Smith, yeah. Um, Who is your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher. Um, I didn't really have a favorite teacher. I was kind of like a rebel, you know. Um, so I, yeah. No, I really didn't have a favorite teacher. Okay. Yeah. So I was um, not. They had two sororities and two fraternities. I was not one either asked to join either one. I was kind of like this. Um, I guess today you would say the. Um, you know, the bad, the bad boy group, you know. Um, but I never got, you know, I never got in trouble. But um, on my senior year, I mean, and it's really done me, I guess, I, I get along with everybody. But I'm not really close to anybody, you know, except a few people. And um, so and then I've always been kind of a little bit afraid of, of getting you know, really close or being part of any group. So, um, which is interesting because later on in life, I guess I have been. <laughs> yeah, an organizer. Yeah, yeah. Well, and also but, you grew up in a period, the 50s, right, of, of a lot of ideals of conformity. And so to not go with that is yeah, awesome. Yeah, it was kind of like, and what I used to do for fun is um, I, I had my friends in high, you know, high school, we'd go into the city, and, uh, you know, we'd not only go into the city, but we'd play kind of games like, okay, we're not going to speak at all and see how far we can, you know, what we can see. Of course, the museums. And we used to go down to the village, which is a great scene, and, um, you know, for, you could go to a coffee house and be like 15 cents or something like that. You'd hang out, people would watch the whole night, which I used to do a lot. Watching. And I babysat for um, this guy who was a jazz pianist, his name was Ralph Sutton. And um, he used to play these dates up at Yale University. He also worked for um, um, I'm trying to think of it now, it's a, I don't know, it's with a G. Um, Is it a school? Uh, Condit, Eddie Condit's in New York. Mm -hmm. and, um, so he, uh, I used to uh, babysit his two kids, um, and the older one, Peter, would always say, um, instead of reading the story, he'd always say, play facts. And we'd get out the 78 records and play Fats That's Waller. Oh, uh, Fats Waller? Yeah. And, um, because our 33s were just coming in then, mm -hmm. the 45s were kind of big when I was in high school. So we would play fast, and I really got, like, in the gym. You know, I liked mm -hmm. it. And I mean, he had a great sense of humor. He was really, really He's great. great pianist. Yeah. yeah, so much personality. And um, then I went uh, on the weekends when I would do, like, a Sunday or whatever. And then you come back to the house. Um, I. Um, would be asked to stay and he'd bring back musicians and of course for a teenager this was like fabulous you know and so he would bring back some of the musicians and I'd stay and listen and that was really you know long. did you date musicians in uh, high school did you date musicians in high school no we um, I thought that went with the bad girl image too yeah no well musicians were um, were really um, 
Like we had one guy who's a drummer who I'm close to now. He the drum uh, was a drummer in the Air Force for 30 years, and we had another one who played the trumpet. And he uh, he was played the trumpet because he was um, what is that? You know where they um, you know the, uh, the army, the Salvation Army. Oh, you know, okay. You know Salvation charity. Army charity thing, and uh, and so. No, I have my best friend was um, I guess Liz, and she uh, her father was um, she was um, African American, but her father was uh, this really cool guy because he was a cartoonist, you know, and uh, he was also one of these guys. I don't know if you remember, probably not, but they used to have these ads for like Timex watches and. Then, or, yeah, and they drop it. Okay, it can twist down anything. Yeah. Nothing yeah, takes nothing so take, And then they had a whole bunch of things that, like radios that would do that, you know. So, so he would buy these things and he would actually try them out. You know, and he was he was really a great, great guy. And um, they had this great house with the uh, fish tank, you know. And it was really, you know, cool. And I remember the first time I ever listened, we got a hold of Modern Jazz Quartet. And we just went wild over that. So we had the, you know, the music. And and then um, what happened there was really interesting because they saw that the civil rights thing was going to come, mm -hmm. and they decided to leave the country because oh. they didn't want to be involved. So they moved to Switzerland. Wow. Yeah. And um, you know it was interesting because that was you don't hear about um, a lot of blacks that did that that were able to mm -hmm. because they. They were really scared about what was going to happen and how their kids would be basically involved and stuff like that. Well, yeah, um, 55 with Emmett Till, and that's majorly publicized, especially on the East Coast, um, and just a reminder of the huge differences between the North and the South and the lack of respect for human life. Yeah, it was, it, well, they saw that that there was going to be a movement, a movement. Yeah. It was, um, it was going to be involved in. And, you know, there's no way not to be involved. Right. And, no way to avoid it. Um, so many, you know, and they weren't the only ones that were, you know, that uh, decided to leave the country. 